community quarantine is hereby imposed in the entire of Metro Manila. Numbers show that the Philippine economy is steadily growing, but more than one-fifth of Filipino children hardly feel it. A recent survey of the Food and Nutrition Research Institute found malnutrition among children below 5 years old has worsened. The world has struck its vengeance to humanity due to its incomprehensible actions towards nature. It's been two years since the pandemic infected our land and caused hibernation of our physical activities. These scenarios brought us physical inabilities. However, the time has come. The world is healing. Physical activities are gradually recovering. And now is our time to engage ourselves in restoring our physical awareness. Come and join us as we give some tips on how to achieve these things. First thing is to be a role model. You have to show benefits or show some outcome of what you are doing and make fitness training fun. All you need is apply the fitness training to yourself. When they see a good improvement in you, you can easily encourage them to do fitness training for their good health. And you can also inform to them the benefits of fitness training to enlighten them. Encouraged by example, the biggest thing I can do to help motivate someone else to exercise is to exercise myself. Invite them to play sports or attend class with you. Talk about how good you feel exercising. Respond positively to their exercise related interests. Nowadays, social media makes a big help on information dissemination, so I do use my Facebook account and TikTok account on encouraging others on themselves in fitness training. So I do post my clients' progress on routine and physical changes during their program here. So I also upload some of my personal routines on my account. Number one, so encourage by an example. So if you're doing fitness training, it will, it will reflect in your physical appearance. So your friends, your co-workers, and those people around you will notice the good result of what you're doing. And number two is invite to join, invite others to join you in your fitness training. Uh, invite your friends to go for jogging. Invite your co-workers to do Zumba or go to the gym. Number three is talk how you feel good when you do exercise. So tell them how you feel when you do exercise. Drink more water. Kailangan natin ng uh, tubig. Uh, just like uh, athletes, ang pinaka importante sa kanila ay matubigan ng kanilang katawan. So, uh, don't forget to drink water. Number two, get more sleep. Number three, walk it out. Walk it out. The average person should aim for 10 steps throughout the entire day. So, if you are an office worker, pag uh, naupo ka ng uh, 
mga 30 minutes, you need to uh, stand and walk and walk and walk. And uh, if you are a teacher, keep on walking while you are teaching. Number four, stretch. Stretch. And uh, number five, eat breakfast. O, oh, ito na. Marami yung uh, hindi kumakain ng breakfast. We should know that breakfast is the most important meal for us. Another one is meditate. Number six is meditate. Meditation can decrease anxiety, increase creativity, improve immune system, lower blood pressure, um, decrease muscle tension, and improve heart aches. And next is friends and family time. You need uh, to give time for your family and friends. Spend more time with friends and your family. Another one is use technology. Use fitness trackers or health apps to monitor your activity level and overall health. Number nine, smile more. When you are pouting, kukulubot ang ating mga skin, di ba? But if you, uh, if you uh, practice smiling, yun, gaganda ang ating mga skin, lalong-lalo na sa ating uh, mukha. And uh, another one is go outdoors. Uh, being outdoors can increase mood, lower stress levels, boost creativity, and improve immune system.